I hope. Uh, welcome to the garage. Uh, many Land Rover interesting things. Uh, now I'm sat here nursing a, a package, as you can see, and um, uh, Tim sent me this quite some time before before Christmas, and uh, I had I had promised to, to to do the install and a bit of a video on them and and so on and so forth. But um, I've been really busy now. You'll have seen lots of videos popping up every couple of weeks or so on on the youtube channel but reality is that i hadn't recorded any since well before christmas because as you as i think i might have mentioned i've been quite busy with one thing and another and um and so what i've, I've not really had time to get around to but tim has sent me this tim is from defender 3d and Tim has been part of that community for well ever since I were involved in Defender thing, and um, and he stayed there and, and and he's producing a lot of very interesting things and grown uh, a nice little company as Tim. Anyway, uh, I did mention to him that there was a bit of a need for some D5 sort of accessories, and it, us D5 owners haven't really been looked after by the markets for for spares and accessories and all that sort of stuff and i don't really know why anyway um tim has started to produce a number of different things i reached out to him because i fitted this light here you can't see because he's out of job but i fitted this light and this light actually is only it's it's the one that he made for defense or um, i reached out to him took him a video and, and showed him what i thought uh, would be a good sort of um uh, mounting thing for the for the d5 and and he has come up with something that's very similar and perhaps a bit better than what i suggested to him anyway uh he sent it to me in this package and he's asked me to have a <laughs> asked me to have a fit at it and, and do a bit of a video and see what my thoughts are well i hadn't really had time because i've had all these bits of jobs on and this academic stuff and and really now is the only time i've got five sort of minutes to get to it and I only really got the five minutes to be honest but anyway we'll have a go so what we're going to do is we're going to get this on bench now and and we'll unbox it and i'll show you what fancy things he sent me he sent me this light but he's also sent me some other exciting things right so you can see here tim's very nicely wrapped it up this has come from england because that's where tim is and i'm going to have a difficulty of a job getting in here because tim's done a grand job at putting this together but it's not always easiest get in is it uh no well, that's what i'm after so uh like i mentioned before tim started to make a number of these um a number of these uh accessories for the d5 and and what he sent to me here uh if i can get these staples out without screwing my fingers uh what he sent here is a new light for the back because he's he's augmented the mounting now uh when i put mine in uh, you'll recall that what I did was uh, I, I basically I just got two bits of velcro really and I just uh, stuck it to the back back door <laughs> uh, and I, I figured that it would be all right and it wasn't bad really it, it did job but um, Tim, I mentioned to him I sent Tim a little video and I said look these lights can be adapted quite simply to um, to use your existing light for Defender and uh, these are not going to be as easy to get in as I thought. Tim's gone a bit nuts. Look, he's stapled all round here. Um, they're not, uh, I said, they're not far off, really. Uh, getting the, getting the, the defender light to fit. All we need is a bit of an angle thing. And, and anyway, Tim's come up with some stuff. So let's look what we've got in here. Uh, nicely packaged. Thank you very much, Tim. And thank you very much for sending me these. I have to say, it's, it's very kind of you. This is a dash clamp. It says I want it, dash clamp. Uh, and I'll show you what that does in a minute. But we've got in here, we'll just be careful of these staples. When, when we've got a little package here. And, um... <laughs> Oh, good Lord, look at that. Holy, this is a RAM mount um, for a GoPro, and he's, he's sent me this. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, Tim. Little spring-mounted affair for, for something. We'll have a look at that for me. GoPro that's currently, I've got it wedged. I've got it sort of stuck on a, on a piece of tin. I've just nailed into it. Um, that's the end of that. I've just nailed into it, Tim. Um, 
shelf I've got above me bench. Bench has gone a bit nuts because I haven't had time to do any work in here, so I very quickly scattered it about and uh, I've cut myself in. So what Tim sent, look, this looks like the light, and it is the light, uh, and he's wrapped it up very nicely. He's done a grand job. Uh, now we've got these little, um, these little 3M double-sided sticky squishy fairs and i'll just show you that there look through some of them so they're very good uh, i like 3m i've had lots of different types of sticky back things and i've always found that 3m i don't know what it is that they do but they've always seemed to stick a bit better than everything else for some reason or other i have a a phone mount that i use uh and uh and that's got 3m sticky stuff and it goes onto the window and it, it does work very well this is my best knife, well not my best knife, but it's my sharpest knife, this one. But last time I had it out of me in case I managed to just slice my fingers up with it <laughs> a bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm super mindful of it now, it's gone a bit nuts. Right, uh, so what have we got here? I'll just move these out to the side. I'm pretty sure that what we've got here is this back line, this new fancy back line that Tim's made. Now what he's done is he's adapted uh, the defender three, the, the defender light that fits in the in the top of the back of the the Land Rover Defender, both the one tens and the nineties, and he's adapted it a bit, uh, and he's come up with this very pretty mounting kit, which brings it forwards a touch um, off the uh, uh, off this ledge. You can't see, but well, there's a bit of a ledge and mine hides behind it a bit and it's it, it's not the best somehow because it's um uh it's it sort of covered a bit so it, it doesn't really shine all the way into the back and one of the other side effects of the light is that because it's always on for the defenders um you when you just switch your lights on from inside it, it sort of dazzles you in rear view mirror but tim as you can see here he's put this nice little switch on side and it's a champion job is that tim you've done a cracking job uh now he's got a new fancy printer as tim uh and i don't know whether this is made from the new the new machine or not but it's very well made and and the printing lines on it actually give it quite a nice pattern I, I like that tim i don't know if i can just show you that but you see these little lines where they've been printed it gives it quite a nice sort of an effect um uh and it comes complete with these sticky pads as you can see now this one is yeah and it's slightly curved so it'll match the back it'll match the tailgate i think that one a little bit uh yeah it's got a bit of a curve too so that's that's good it's probably the same curve as is on the defender and of course it comes with a wiring harness this piggyback affair this this clips into your existing light and then this or, or this one clips into your existing light and then this one goes into into the uh, the outlet uh and uh not into your existing light into the this one clips into the existing light and this one clips into the power feed for it uh, and i like this idea because you're not cutting anything of course you're just sort of screwing it and plugging it in so that's that light that's great that tim i like that very much well done we'll have a look at that and we'll have a i'm going to leave this down because i don't know what else he's sent me and my bench ain't cleanest at the moment uh we'll have a look at this bag this this looks like a bag of very interesting things he um Tim does do a very good job of packaging things up so that they don't get damaged and in here in this bubble wrap thing we've got what's this oh we've got some foam uh, this is a piece of foam I don't know if you can see there's a bit of sticky back foam and these you can cut up and you can put on these ledges here look uh, or on the back and this is for uh, this is for the the iPad mount that I mentioned to you before uh, now Tim made me one of these and there you have it ladies and gentlemen uh, that's in position I'm going to get rid of the messages uh, that's the iPad mount in position and I've just come around this side so you can see what I've had to do is I had to turn uh, this the bracket I had to turn it around so the handles on this side so you've got better control this is a fresh mount this and there's a little there's a little pimple on here I'll just see if you can see that uh, and that slides up and down in this groove to sort of stop it from twisting um, and then when you put it all together you end up with a uh, with a bit of a design that looks I've got that the wrong way around but you get what I mean a bit it's always the iPad. Now I had one of these for my Defender 
and it was outstanding and I used it a lot and I really liked it because it allowed me to fly my drone at the same <laughs> the same time as driving and um oh Tim you've you've spoiled me here look you've fastened me get sent me these ram mounts here that's definitely spoiled me um and what these ram mounts are for is they for this and uh, Tim and I have, have come up with this. Well, actually, Tim's come up with this. He, he's seen something that's and that I'd never noticed. But this is a, a special clamp. This is a mount. Little mount on that flippy down, you know, the, the thing that always gets stuck when you press the button. That hidden compartment behind the heater control units. Well, this is, this is a, a special design to fit uh, sort of around that somehow. And then these RAM mounts that he's sent here uh which i'm not going to be able to get into look at this i've got all the knives on the planet here i'm going to end up cutting my finger aren't I? so these ram mounts i'm just going to get this one out uh for now uh these ram mounts they, they go around here and then you can clamp the there's the other bit you can clamp that into the back of this and it provides you with a with a kind of like an uh, articulated who do you watch them call it <laughs> technical term is that i'll have you know um and that allows you to adjust your uh your thing anyway so let's have a look at we've uh, open that up now and what we're going with what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get my new tripod over to the car somewhere and we'll see if we can't uh, put it in i suppose this is the uh the the back line from this i've taken it out because it dazzles the camera and you you sort of lose what's going on behind it well this is what you end up with now this is tim's uh this is tim's defender mount uh light and this is the original wiring to the to the light and i'll just i'll show you that when you when you put that in obviously it lights up now i've taken it out as i said just so it doesn't affect the camera uh, the camera and i'm going to try and take out uh my my light now i've i've just stuck it in with two bits of velcro which apparently have stuck very well because velcro uh this is this is 3m velcro as well that one didn't stick look because it's i guess it's not i'm just going to put this back because it's because it's relevant where it is uh now what i did was i put my cable all the way down here but tim's new fancy light is is much sleeker and, and a bit more nicely laid out but if you just get your little these are little plastic trim tools you can buy them from most auto places you can get away with a screwdriver but they do tend to damage somebody's been in here look with a screwdriver they did tend to damage the plastic a bit because they uh well they're, they're quite aggressive aren't they screwdrivers but if you just prise this and twist it slightly you'll pop these little there's about two or three of them you'll pop these little clips out behind here there's another one gone and uh and i've just popped my wire back here look and i can suck this out but be careful you don't lose this i try and hold on to this a bit because i have lost them and sometimes it can be a bit of a drama at finding and um but anyway now behind here he says behind here is a piece of foam and i snuck mine behind the foam so that it didn't get squished on any metal and uh and so i mean you can do what you like with yours but i put mine there so it didn't get trapped against the case anyway so this is this is tim's original 3d mount you'll have seen i'll hold it up here you'll have seen me put this in and there's a video of me putting this this in but tim's is a bit better of a thing and i'll tell you why so tim's mount is designed to go like this and it and and this mounting plate that he's he's built here which fastens onto here sticks onto here it hides this this wire which goes right down into here you sort of think now this is a pre-production model so uh this is the same length as as the the wire on his on his defender models and if you buy this d5 mount of course it'll come uh it'll come much shorter because you only need to get it to here don't you anyway this is a pre-production model but what i'm going to tell you is that you need to clean this spot up here now depending upon whether anybody's been in the back with some cleaner because these despite the 3m 
sticky pads being very, very good. Uh, the, the polish on here makes it very hard for them to, to stick to. So I'm just going to get a bit of cleaner and I'll show you what to do. Now I use brake cleaner, but there, there's lots of things you can use acetone and there's all sorts of bits of things. All you really want to do is take off the, the polish that's been put onto here because the uh, the, the little sticky pads stick onto the plastic rather than they do the um, uh, they stick onto the polish rather than plastic is what I'm trying to say <laughs> uh, but what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to measure up where is roughly even so I know where I'm where I'm going and what I won't do so just take a cloth uh, and all this is to do is just to clean the brake. I use brake cleaner because it's designed to get rid of grease and polishes and things like that that uh, end up being on your, uh, your your brake disc when you put they put a sort of a waxy oily finish on a brake disc uh, to uh, uh, to protect the steel when you fit them. And of course, if you don't clean it off when you put your your brake shoes on, you can see here. Look, you see the dirt. That's a combination of dirt and polish really but um, that just gets rid of the the polish so that you can your sticky pad chap thing can stick properly to it and not and not the polish because what happens of course is that the sticky stick of the the pad sticks very well to the polish and uh, the dust and the dirt and and you end up with it no sort of stickiness There we are. Now, I'm just going to leave this dangling for, for now, but like I said, this is a pre-production model, so it's far too long, uh, and Tim knows that, so when you end up with your version, it's just it's going to have a much shorter cable on it, and, uh, and it'll just pop down nicely behind here. Just need to tease it out. He says, just there we are, and then it'll pop like it'll pop all the way through. If you see what I mean, now we've got this in position. What we can do here is I'm just going to push these down a little bit to make sure they're properly stuck. They are good. Tim does great gear, doesn't he? And then, very carefully, without without peeling it off the off the plastic you want to just pull these I don't need to tell you how to use double sided sticky tape do you just need to present Mrs Firth has just returned I can hear the little engine uh, you just need to pull these little sticky pad things off the, the cover and that reveals the um, you know I went to the opticians last week or the week before because I was having difficulty with my eyesight and for some reason or other I have I've developed an early onset hello Juan say hi to everybody hi uh, I've, I've got these uh, that's Jip saying hello to everybody I've got a cat an early onset like a juvenile cataract <laughs> so the good news is I'm going blind at the age of 43 or whatever it is I am 47 um, and it'll only be a matter of uh, months or uh, six months or eight months or so before I have to have a cataract operation. But anyway, what he's done is it's really affected my vision quite badly. And the the honest answer is that they've fixed my vision by putting new lenses in, but it's that bad that I can't focus on close things now. I guess I'm getting aged, haven't I? And uh, welcome to the world, I suppose. Anyway, so this is it, really. You just, uh, I suppose you could just pop this on here. I'm just going to push this back in uh, and hopefully I'll be able to just sneak that down a touch just so that that fits nicely there it's a bit of an effort to get them to squidge up both at the same time and part of the problem of course is that you can't if you push too hard you push the, the back door on the tailgate up. they're very good them are Tim I'm stickier than this 
sticky the stick insect and the sticky bun to quote Blackadder. Uh, quoting Blackadder, struth, that's the thing. Right, and then you just poke this up here and there's plenty of space behind here because there's 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 a bunch of bunch of nape behind here and some foam and what have you, but you can you can just poke this cable up and uh pop this is the original wiring loom I'm going to pop this up here and that clips into there and then I'm going to pop this thing back on here uh, actually I'm going to throw that up there out of the way first and then I'm going to pop this in here and um, this will probably affect the light now don't worry about the fact that it hasn't come on because the car has timed out. It's taken me a couple of minutes to fit this, obviously. And the car has timed out, so the internal lights have come off um, or switched themselves off in that battery protection mode thing that they do. Which, for our purposes, is great, of course, because the, the light won't come on and it won't dazzle the thing. But basically, that's it. And you can see how nicely Tim's done this look. It's, it's a proper job, is that, Tim? Now, this... Where mine was, uh, back here, when you lifted the boot lid, this, this tailgate, uh, it, it kind of shone down on your, on your, you know, the bit I'm sitting on, which is good, uh, but you also couldn't see into the back because it was, it was straight down. Uh, so there was, you know, Tim's designed this so that this fits nicely sort of on here and it matches the curve of the, matches the curve of the tailgate here look a little bit. And uh, what you can do is you can just switch this on and off if you need it by just reaching up, which is a great idea because you don't need this on all the time. It's a bit too much, really, especially when you're in the front of the cabin. You turn big light on to, to see. Not that the interior lights are great, but there you are. So this is how it fits. It's spot on. It's hidden this cable nicely, which is what I was trying to get away from because mine sort of... You know, mine sort of dangled down here and went round the back. Not that it got in the way or anything, but this is a much neater affair. So, um, yeah, that was proper, that. And it's all nicely stuck on. It is a bit tricky to sort of stick both planes uh, at once, if that makes sense, because uh, you kind of have to go down like that, and I didn't do that, did I? I should have perhaps done a bit of a job, but anyway, there you are. And I don't know that I've got it in metal, but that's that, and I think that's going to be a much better job. So let me go and switch that on, and we'll we'll see how good they are, I suppose. Right here we are. Look now, you can see the two lights are, are on there. I'm just I'm back on gimbal because uh, I'm going to be moving about a bit, and it's a bit more stable than my girlfriend bought me. Look what she gave me for Christmas. She's got me a ring light. I feel like one of them TikTokers now with a bit of a tripod and all that. I would do that. I don't know what it is that sexy video, whatever they call it, where you put the ring light behind your head. I don't know that it'll be, I don't know that it'll have quite the same effect, but anyway, uh, these lights here, uh, that's can see them, the, the, these are the, uh, the I powered affair from, from Simon at Powerful UK, I did that video on installing them, but you can see this big light of Tim's just, uh, just up there, if you can, if I can move the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this light on and we'll just, I'll move around and we'll have a look at what we can see here. Now... Uh, this light is good because right at back there where you can see I've got all ramble, um, all that stuff there is, is, is in dark normally. And I'll just switch this light off and you can see it does have a big effect. It's bright daylight. I've got all doors and windows open here for try and drag light in. I've got big ring light behind me and LED lights on bench. So there you go. You can see how sleek it is and you can see how the wire is now hidden. Well, that you can if I switch light up. You see how lights, cables hidden, and it's all a, a much sleeker job. So thank you very much for that, Tim. That's spot on, is that? I hope that installation video helps you. And I'll just do one more of the flicky on, flicky on the light thing, and you can see how much difference it makes, even though it's daylight. So there you go, champion. And well, there we have it. Uh, the light's been installed. 
uh, thank you very much uh, to Tim for sending me these uh, the, the light and the, the iPad mount out. Uh, I have installed the, the iPad mount and I'll show you a photograph of that. I'll slide it in somewhere here. I have done a, a fitment video, but it isn't the final uh, final production version and Tim will be doing some uh, some tweaks here to make it fit a little better. This uh, light here is pretty much good to go as it is, which is why I'm sharing you the installation video here. Uh, uh, there might be a, a few tweaks that Tim's going to make uh, to the length of the cable and some other things that that are relevant to this particular dis this particular model, um, uh, but this will fit also on the the MY twenty twos and is a nice plug and play as you've seen it just it just slides straight in. Um, so massive thanks to Tim for uh, asking me to be involved in in helping him hammer out the, these really very excellent designs. Uh, as I've mentioned to you, this is the design that I used, or he used, for the uh, Defender model. And uh, this has been a, I mean, it's been really good because it's been in the back of the Defender and bashed about a bunch. And you know what my life's like, and it's been in the back of this and bashed about a bit, and it, and it still works perfectly. So, um, this is the kind of level of tech that Tim bangs out. It's, it's good quality gear. And now I'm running out of time and space, as you might have noticed, because I've got a lot of work on this year. I'm finishing up my PhD and, um, and I'm trying <laughs> hard, but unsuccessfully to get writing done. And, um, and so I've been spending most of the last month working on on various papers and bits of academic stuff and i have more to do on that so uh this is a, this is a short video um a late short video and i've still got those other aspects that i was promised promising myself to do at some stage in the future um such as the the block eater pipe work and electrical wiring and all that kind of stuff um and if you looked around the garage i can't show you because i'm sat talking to the camera but if you looked around the garage it's a disaster because there's all manner of stuff going on that i've not finished but anyway um thank you very much for tuning in uh, please do bear with me while i <laughs> attempt to get these things done and dusted so i can uh, record more content for you i have a box just behind this camera from TDI Tuning, who uh, very kindly replaced the TDI tuner that they sent me for the P400 Defender, uh, and I'm going to uh, remapped it for this TD6. But um, very imminently, there might be another vehicular change. That's another story I'll talk to you about later on. But anyway, uh, that's all I've got to say for now. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please do like and subscribe. There's a lot of noise about this subscribing and liking and all that kind of stuff. But basically, it's important for me uh, to know that you're getting uh, notifications that there's there's new content out there. But anyway, that's uh, all I have to say for today. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheerio.